Hello. So, I made a small frame of uh, cheap MDF that is 12 millimeter thick, as thick as one of those uh, magnets. <sighs> uh, what I'm gonna try is not using metal, but use both sides of the magnet by using two foils. Uh, now, that might have, and that's the whole test, might have a benefit. Also a downside, I mean you have to make two foils and stretch two foils, which is more work. Uh, then again, the idea is that the foils move in tandem. So if the magnets are here, this is a foil, this is a foil. They move like this. So one foil with uh, like max excursion will move towards the magnet, increasing the field. The other one does the uh, opposite, moves away from the magnet and decreases magnetic field. Now these magnetic fields are on both sides exactly the same, so they kind of line up. It should like, yeah, work out. It should lower some, somewhere, something in the distortion and hopefully what I, I hope mostly is, can I get a higher excursion? Of course the efficiency will go down. Uh, a little bit. Then again, since it's dual membrane, uh, if resistance was the same, you should gain 3 dB. But anyhow, uh, it will be less efficient, but I wonder if I can get a higher excursion without too much trouble. Just something I want to know. And I want to know what happens in the distortion. And I want to know what happens if you use, and that might be a problem, two different resonances. So there will be some sort of a combined resonance, I guess. But I wonder if you can tune it with resonance one and resonance two. Maybe it fills in gaps, I don't know. I'll have to, uh, I really have no clue. I did it with a tweeter, I believe, in the past. But uh, yeah, this is something completely different. This is the more interesting part. It was not actually a tweeter, but it was a small panel that went low enough to see the differences. But it, you know, a panel like this would be more interesting to see what it does. Dual membrane, real dual membrane, so not dual sided, but two foils. Gonna put in some more magnets. Waiting for the glue to dry. <laughs> Feels like waiting for paint to dry or glue in this case. So this is one coil. Uh, there's another and there's a spare. Uh, yeah. Gonna glue them on this tiny frame. It will not hold shape or tension, I'm pretty sure, but we'll make it happen in the end. So I chose for um, less overlap on the magnets in this case because I probably can use all the magnetic field. Uh, that's there because I made panels with these magnets before but I used 3mm X-Max and I wanted to see if I can get it like more linear even when using 6mm X-Max so that's what I'm doing but it will you know, you know efficiency goes down so uh, who knows hmm. yeah I'll just wait some more I put some lines here to kind of line line it up Hopefully. Hmm. Something like this. I think I'll go with it. My frame is too small, so I have to just stand on it, I guess. Which is not ideal. You can hear the tension is quite high. I'm pretty sure when I cut it free, there isn't much left, so that's why I... Uh, I might have taken a little bit too high of a tension, but if I remove the air, it's 
still pretty high. That actually works. So this is 6mm MDF, but I didn't expect it to hold so nicely. So now it's a bit high. First time using um, such thin MDF for a frame. But yeah, I pushed it in too hard. Now the aluminium is like wiggled, but 60 to 80, that's my guess. I can easily lower resonance compared to making it higher, so I'll give it two coats of glue, so I have to wait again, but that's what it is. And I'll just wait while I solder the other panel. Has to be soldered anyways. So, yeah. Not sure what the focus is gonna do with this reflecting area, but we'll see. Might wonder why this is so wide, but I thought about a method of uh, <laughs> um, being able to stretch the foil when seated, but I never got to it. So, this is one foil. Boom, 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 boom. I hope I... Yeah, okay, I lined it up quite okay. And I think I'll just use some random screws because... Oh. Because that's easy. And I'm all for easy right now. Right now because... Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure if this works. I don't want to waste time on it. That's one foil. Sounds pretty low. Um, yeah, so I can see here some wrinkles. Ow. Now they're gone. And tension is a bit higher, but. has to do for now. <laughs> this looks uh, completely weird. Uh, I'll give it some baffle with the uh, LRS <laughs> because uh, well this panel is quite tiny. Um, let me see.
<clears throat> this acoustics panel fell down and it's uh, the favorite place of push now, so I'll oh I'll leave it on the ground I guess. I did not even measure resonance or anything. Maybe a little bit closer. So yeah, the measurement will show more low end than it will actually be at the listening spot, but it also shows better distortion. And I'm pretty sure there's lots of it, especially down to resonance. Oh wow, that's low. Ah, it's uh, 14. It's not that bad. <laughs> so there's resonance. I'm gonna measure that once more, but a little bit louder. I mean, I got pl plenty of power, so. Now, the only thing I have to do is uh, bolt on the other membrane. <clears throat> then the resonance will rise probably to like 55 or 60, maybe higher even, I don't know. It's complete random. Mm. Yeah, curious. Let's go. So now we got a foil on this side and a foil on that side. That's the wrong direction, I think. Yeah, clearing. Ow. So this is in phase. And let's measure again. SPL should not change all that much because um, they're in series. Wow. Um, yeah. So here are the measurements. It's not insane loud volume, but you can clearly see the change. So uh, single-ended resonance was 45, give or take. Now we're at 57. So we need to pick a resonance a little bit higher to uh, make it fair. 75. There the third is kind of the same. Third harmonic at 75 for the uh, single ended panel is 0 0.330 and around uh, 0 0.342 for dual. But if we look at second harmonics, 0 0.351 for the dual and 2.18% for the single ended. That's quite cool. If we look at just purely frequency response, and I'll just smooth it out a little bit, 112, not much changed, except for the resonance, but I warned you already, resonance will change. If you add two membranes, the resonance goes up. I could make them more floppy, and then you go down, but better way of doing it is uh, making the panel slightly wider. And now I'm pretty interested in how loud you can play. <laughs> can you go... Well, probably the minor will give up. <laughs> I will add a notch at the current resonance at 57. It's never going to reach its X max. I'm going to put them in parallel. 
it will be a low impedance, but uh, I believe my um, my setup uh, should not mm, care much. Ah, this is this is so much fun. This is why this is the best thing ever. Playing with this kind of stuff. some rattling and such but I know where that's coming from it's the typical tape thingy I usually do I put tape here here there there blah 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 on the edges of the um, foil I will do that but first I have to remove the screws again also I only used three screws for this length I'm pretty sure this will vibrate but so far I'll do a measurement at a little bit louder volume ah, damn it I cannot yeah, I have to remove a panel again to compare it. I'll leave it at this, but so far... It's fucking cool. Can we compare it to a magma pen that is twice the size? Okay, there we got the Mackie. Yeah, gonna be fun. LRS dual foil single foil dual foil. Ah, it's so much fun. So there's uh even with the measurements right now, I'm, I'm pretty stoked, but there's still room to play. First of all, taping this thing off like I usually do will make the distortion much better. There's no damping, that's another thing. And I did not manage to hit the magnets yet. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much power is required to do that. Um, and I can already tell that this setup, as it is right now, in parallel, so mm, low impedance, is almost as loud as the Maggie's, which is not very efficient, but you know, let's not forget this panel is uh, half the size, not maybe even less. Wow, this is going to be a lot of playing around with. Cool. Uh, I'll show you the measurements. Um, yeah, probably overlay them in this boring video watching a single, well, panel. And then I'm probably going to play with it some more. Getting the resonance lower might be interesting because, you know, it would be nice if you reach 45 hertz or something. I mean, there's much room in the excursion left, so I might have to lower the resonance on both panels and see how that goes. But that's maybe tonight, but yeah, see you around. Bye-bye.